Temporarily, some relatively mild temperatures to the mid Atlantic states. Better late than never. The cherry blossoms. Point. You can see why all of that is going on. Look at this big blob of moisture. The bright white clouds indicating where the heavier amounts of rain have been falling. And I do mean heavy. Some locations across Louisiana have checked in with six and a half inches of rain just today, just in the last 24 hours. No wonder flooding is definitely on the ticket for Louisiana. Strong to severe thunderstorms possible across the rest of the south. East from Louisiana into Mississippi and possibly even Alabama and Florida later on tonight. Now, this storm system does cover a wide spectrum here. You can see the moisture as far north as parts of Minnesota. New system moving into the northwest. That's breaking down that ridge of high pressure across the west. And what does it mean? It means some rain and also some showers across the Pacific Northwest some snow for the higher elevations. But this is the main focus of attention that we want to tell you about as high pressure is sliding off the eastern seaboard. This system is going to continue to plow on in that direction and it will mean some intense thunderstorm activity not only tonight but into tomorrow. Best chance for severe intensity tonight in Florida as well as South Georgia, South Alabama and on back into Mississippi and Portions of Louisiana could still get into the act as if you haven't seen enough, right? And we are going to show you this tornado watch in effect until 10 o'clock local time. Be prepared to seek shelter immediately because tornadoes are indeed a possibility. Looking at national radar, this is the deal. A little bit of rain moving into the northwest, a lot of rain that has been plowing through parts of Louisiana, moving in a beeline towards Florida and will probably arrive tomorrow with strong to severe thunderstorms, a possibility as we approach the this big holiday weekend. Zooming in a little bit closer, we'll show you a few stray showers in parts of Texas, more showers redeveloping in parts of Louisiana. Earlier today, this storm system was quite powerful, with hurricane force winds being reported, some of the buoys in uh, the Gulf of Mexico. It's dissipated a little bit, but it seems to show some signs of regenerating just a little. So we're going to watch it very closely as this is potentially uh, going to cause some big time problems. This Severe weather continues to rock through parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and moving towards Florida right now. Flooding a possibility, too. Look at the line of stronger storms from Lafayette, Louisiana, back towards Lake Charles, where you got about five inches of rain last night, and tornado uh, possible earlier today in Louisiana. Looking at the rainy travel, needless to say, flash flood watches remain in effect to the south, but we do have rain slick roadways as far north as Minnesota. That's right. We had some reports of big time problems moving into the area. A cool 43 degrees. Light rain is still occurring. Out ahead of this system, though, out ahead of the front, we still have some fairly warm temperatures, which is sort of a sign of uh, things to come, a sign of strong to severe thunderstorms. That's a possibility. Friday into Friday night, here's the deal. We think you're going to see intense, severe weather even into parts of Florida and coastal regions of South Carolina and North Carolina. Typically, for April, we do see a lot of thunderstorm activity on back into Tornado Alley and Tornado. Tornadoes are definitely starting to become more prevalent during the month of April. Of course, May and June you see a lot more, but it's not out of the realm of possibility in April. So, if you live in any of these areas, right on towards parts of Georgia, showers could be heavy. Severe weather could be intense. In the Northeast, one more nice day before the batch of moisture starts moving in your direction. Improving weather conditions for Wisconsin and on into parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and Kansas City. Next system plowing on across the Northwest gives way to some scattered showers, also some snow for the higher elevations. The Oregon Cascades and the Siskiyous, uh, yeah, you've got a snow advisory in effect. Winter storm watches have been issued there. After Sunday, we're going to see a nation divided with cooler air to the north and a lot warmer temperatures to the south, 70s and 80s at least from Georgia south into parts of Florida. Into Monday, we'll see some 50s slipping on south into uh, Wichita, Kansas, but it stays very warm in the southwest and pretty nice across the mid-Atlantic states and the southeast. As far as temperatures go, now precipitation is a different story. Saturday, a wraparound effect here could give you some morning showers in the southeast and some thunderstorms kicking about from D.C. on into Philadelphia. More showers and thunderstorms for the mid-Atlantic and southern New England on Sunday as the next system moves into the middle of the country and on Monday it starts to scoot on across the Ohio Valley and bring another chance of rain in that direction. New system moves into the northwest. That's a look at your weekend. Stay with us for your local weather.